Clear the Wild with Matt Becker, John Norris, and Greg Shaley. Incoming. I like their I like their ringtone too. A better one, right? Yeah. Hello? John, oh. is that you? Oh my god, I just had to connect the mic in the browser app. God, fuck this. Oh, because you're on your desktop at home. You're not in your home studio where you've spent all your money on technology. I'm recreating my mobile studio yeah. inside of my home. <laughs> That's weird. My my immobile studio. Do you still want to turn the car on to stay warm? <laughs> it is cold now. I'm in the the bottom floor of my house, and it is very cold. Yeah, I heard it's still kind of winter there, right? It's like 45 degrees, uh, but they put the uh, the speed bumps out in my neighborhood, so winter is officially over. Speed bumps? What's that? I mean, I know what a speed bump is, but they they have uh, temporary speed bumps in yeah, your neighborhood. In poor neighborhoods, they put out <laughs> temporary speed bumps, so when they're chasing a, a felon, oh, they will jam them up. Well, they don't care. It's not their car. That's the beauty of a stolen car. You can drive it. Yeah, Any way you want. There's a flaw in their system. <laughs> Remember, they don't give a fuck about this car. That's why. That's why you d- you knew it was stolen. It has a broken driver's side window in the winter. I just saw. I actually just watched. Oh, uh, where there's, I guess, two guys stole a uh, like a Ford Explorer, and the cops are chasing them. And these guys just like took off the highway, drove drove through this like wet, swampy mud patch, doing like 90 miles per hour, and it was pretty great. It yeah. was a real Dukes of Hazard and real life moment. Did they get away? They got away. They got away for that moment. I think because they like, they really, they really lost them for a second. So I think in their heads they were like, "We did it." <laughs> but that's a. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, live PD on Fridays and Saturday nights. You watch this? I've never seen it live though. Yeah, we, I mean that's how we would do it. We'd record it, but it's like four. John, are you familiar with this live PD? It's like cops, but uh, it's actually broadcast for three hours live. Wow, I've never heard of this. Yeah, uh, this is something to go look for <laughs> because they have a uh, penal county in Arizona. They're in Florida, of course. Can't do a cop show without being in Florida no. and Texas. They're in uh, St. Louis somewhere, yeah. and uh, uh, no, and they're in Missouri somewhere, which yeah. is Missouri. Yeah. yeah, I think they're sponsored by Fruit of the Loom tank tops, <laughs> so uh, they had to be in those places. Well, uh, they have camera crews uh, in, on ride-alongs. With cops that are like the regular, they have a cop like in uh, Pinal County that everyone knows. It's it's like two or three regular cops that they have doing it. I'm sure they've been vetted to be the person at. They don't want a hothead showing up on, on a crime scene and yeah. <laughs> going straight to the Billy Club. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! We're filming today. <laughs> hey, this was a littering fine. Yeah, they probably put a thing out like on all the like union police beats. They go uh, for the next three hours. Don't hit anybody. <laughs> So, uh, John, it's, it's basically, they, they bop around. I think there's like six police forces that they've got cameras on ride alongs. And when they, when they, they're in a pursuit, these guys are filming. And when they pop out of the car, these guys run along, uh, right alongside the, uh, the, the officer responding. Sometimes you get the guy that's first on scene. That's fucking hairy. That's probably where things are going to go sideways, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. But it's, uh, Fridays and Saturday nights. I think it's three hours each, each one. And uh, yeah, you can, you can, I mean, just for the weekend, if you're watching it, like catching up, that's a Sunday. That's your entire Sunday viewing. Is it three hours like uncut? There, it's edited, and I know that there's some kind of delay, like the old radio delay, but they are out in the field and they've got these cameras that have uplinks. And then sometimes the, uh, you'll get a lot of artifacting and, and, and signal loss. And then they'll just pull back to a studio. What's that guy's name? Becker, do you know him? He, he does. He does another Easy. show. He does a show with Nancy Grace now, which is fucking it, it, unwatchable. Terrible. Terrible? <laughs> really? It, it's just every time she talks, if you can mute someone's voice from a TV show, they'd probably have higher right ratings. But he's the host, and he's like a a lawyer, or he's got some kind of a law. I guess I could have looked this up, but I didn't. Know we were going to mm-hmm. talk about it. Uh, but he, he's he's the host, and uh, he kind of gives a little background. This is there's got to be one or two funny guys that are write them lines and throw it to them while they're going live. And they've got two cops at the at they, command central where they're sitting in, in a, at a studio uh, set up for jumping to all these feeds. Great show. Great show. I, I can't believe they don't do it in Anchorage. Right. Cause, cause they had a whole, clearly, they clearly aren't using discord 
to broadcast this show because <laughs> Discord is letting me down tremendously. Today, I just saw that it it, it showed it, that he talked, it, but we didn't hear anything. Right, but it also showed that he's in his office. <laughs> I mean, that's it, right? Last week, last time we did it, we didn't have a problem. But the week before that, that's when it dropped out, and he was at home again because the dogs. Every time he goes to his home built computer. So right now we're waiting because it looks like John's online, but as soon as his internet craps out, we're going to see that uh, that it's going to say no. <laughs> it, go away. Go get a better internet, John. Is he still there? He's, yeah, that's- yeah. I miss Skype. Traitor. What do you miss about Skype? Because we were getting the dropouts and the, the shitty audio yeah. all the time. With I him. think this is clear as a bell. I heard that one and I was like, it's great, but he's got to be on his phone yeah. and not on yep. his laptop or whatever there there he goes or maybe he can just get in the car and pretend he had to go get something in wasilla and we'll record during that entire time all right so i've got uh is that him yep john you back hello caller hello hey hey <laughs> so what do you think do you think it's your uh your home uh <laughs> this sounds this sounds worse it all it sounds like you guys uh, are robots in a deep cave. But to us, you sound great. It's fine. Cool. As great as you're going to sound. <laughs> Shit. Do you want, maybe want to jump in your car and take a little trip and get us on your phone? Go park near so. a, a Starbucks or a La Quinta <laughs> with free Wi-Fi. La Quinta. <laughs> I don't think it's my Wi-Fi, though, because I'm like, there's... Before uh, I connected to Discord, I was watching videos, pulling stuff up. Everything was working. Ugh. All right. Let me call you back in like five minutes. All right. Okay. Well, that's – but no, it just seems like every time he's on inside. Well, but we're not dropping. No, but – We're using the same software. What I was concerned with was I don't know if there's something with like the version that he's using on his He just laptop. updated today the new version. Okay. Now, now's when you go. Maybe it's because he uploaded the new version. <laughs> yeah, that's new. No, but but he was out, he's always had trouble at, yeah. at home with it. And I thought that first time we were all in three different locations. You were on in Seattle. I mean, we're not accusing him of having of giving us STDs. We're saying maybe your phone connection through the mobile, which Discord is available on as an app on your phone. It's more maybe compressed. maybe that's more uh, that's more uh, reliable in the area you're, you're in. I said you're in. Urine, but yeah, no, and and you know maybe checking lotto numbers is is good for his laptop, but because uh, you you know you have two or three days before the drawing, but uh, <laughs> but, but the thing about it is, is he keeps denying the fact that we keep going. Well, let me guess which one you're on. Yeah, I mean, you did it last oh, week. Hold on a second, let, I'm forgetting like uh, troubleshooting one hundred and one. We had problems with Skype that were exactly similar to this, plus bad audio quality. Then we moved to Discord. And on this end, we're not getting bad quality, but on his end, he's continuing to get bad quality. So if we start to, to deduce the things that, uh, are probably, uh, that we, if we can pull out the things that are not, don't seem to be the cause. Right. I don't think Discord software seems to be the cause. No. If we were going to have a big checkmark board, it'd be yeah. like, are you inside <laughs> your car? No. <laughs> All right, go back to number one. Oh, yeah, like a, a, a like a flow. <laughs> yeah, a flow chart. It, it, the With question the, at the top, yeah, and then it comes the arrows, down. The a yes and a no. Solving, yeah. yeah, and all of a sudden it goes. Oh. Are you inside? Yes. Okay, and then it drops down to another one. Are you inside a house or are you inside a, a car? car? And, and then it <laughs> says house, and then you go go back. Go to, back to there. Are you <laughs> to, to in, go directly to car? <laughs> you still sound weird, but I can hear you. Okay. This is like I went through that with Costa Rica, where it would sound really weird, and I'd have to just guess at some parts of it. So some jokes fell flat because I didn't hear you. Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, so we are. Uh, it's beautiful down here, John. It's fucking just honest to god beautiful. It's like eighty two, nice breeze. Uh, all the neighbors drive by; they say hi to you. John's gone again. Hello. John, how hello. Are, how are you, sir? <laughs> I'm fucking awesome. It's going that, well. That's all you can ask for. Yeah. You feel like you're trying to win a car or something on a radio contest? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the 25th caller. Six more to go. <laughs> that is exactly what it feels like. I keep calling him like, work this time. 
Wow. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know how that uh, how that feels, but no, because uh, <laughs> Greg and I can just talk to each other. <laughs> I'm, uh, but I'm like literally changing nothing from the times you recorded before of Discord, and it worked perfectly. Right, you did update though, right? Yeah, I got I, up, I have the app updated on my phone. Uh, on my on my computer, I wasn't using the app; I was using the uh, the browser. Oh, that might do it. I don't know. Because you're busy getting hit with all those Google ads. Yeah, so many Google ads. Anyway. So, is there any kind Listen, of war- – do you get any kind of warning when these things are happening or – No, it just kind of drops out. All right. <laughs> do you feel lightheaded? Do you get tremors? <laughs> Sometimes my knees start to swell. I don't know if that's part of it. Uh-huh. So uh, we, we have a, a new email. It's uh, near the wild podcast at Gmail, and uh, we get uh, – not a, I wouldn't say a deluge of emails, <laughs> but but some people have found it. Yeah, and a trickle. Yeah, I mean they when, apparently want our penis enlarged. <laughs> <laughs> when when uh, radio stations uh, solicit call-ins, I mean no matter what, I was, I was at K Whale. We would get like one percent of the callers or the listeners would actually take the time to call in. And that was good. That was oh hey this this is a good promotion. <laughs> That's why when they say ninth caller. You're not. You're probably the first or second. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I did have uh, someone contact us uh, specifically about uh, let's see. Oh, about my uh, uh, sleep study that I talked about. About wanting to get the sleep study because I got the apnea. I think. You think? I think. You're just you're self diagnosed. Well, well, a hammer needs to hit a nail, right? If right. I go there and I go, hey, I think I have sleep apnea. He's go, you know what? You let's, do. Let's do a test, and then we'll tell you exactly what you have. Well, we, probably we think apnea. you do. We think you do. Yeah. But we we have a machine. We're going to sell you. <laughs> but first, let's go yeah. do the test. What do you say? Well, the, just but, buy the mask. Buy the mask first. Do the test later. Yeah, I I I, I just don't want to do any of that. I just, I mean, I'm like John Merrick sitting up to sleep. The elephant man could not lay down flat. That's when uh, Tracy nudges me and goes, hey, maybe you should sit up a little bit. Which She's not telling me to read with a light on. She's saying, that's fucking loud. <laughs> I'm right. going to have to get in the other room. Right. So, but this guy, Dave, uh, wrote in and it was nice. He, uh, listener, he said he, uh, he went to the uh, sleep study and he woke up a hundred times in an hour. Now that's not. The most I've heard of. My brother did more than that. And that's because you, you start to stop breathing. But he's certainly a regional champ. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, he, he's definitely going to make it to the, to the semis. Uh, Dave or Buck, I don't know. He signed a different name. But uh, he, he gave me some uh, information about putting some kind of a piece of pipe and a, and, a, and a tennis ball. I'm not laughing. I'm just visualizing it. I'm not mm-hmm. laughing at your suggestion, Buck. Uh, but that, like a trick. it's, it's to make you get so irritated sleeping on your back that you want to roll over on, onto your side. And that's a lot of the problem is when people lay on their back that they end up getting the, their jaw goes into a position that, that makes you snore louder or that cuts off air. Right. I know. I look, I'm not going to wear a fucking tennis ball PVC jacket to wear bed. a snorkel. <laughs> get a snorkel. <laughs> exactly. Just put a snorkel in your mouth <laughs> with a, a, like an aquarium pump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, just seal the top. Think, just yeah. a little flutter. Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor fell asleep with a pipe in his bed and he set himself on fire. Yeah, see? Yeah. But he did not have sleep apnea. Yeah. Now? <laughs> yeah, actually, he didn't worry about sleep. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to try that. And then uh, uh, a gent named uh, Jarrett, he, uh, he asked me about uh, suggestions about a visit to Anchorage. This is his first visit to Anchorage with his girlfriend. They're uh, visiting in June of this year after the summer solstice, late June. So, uh, is it, are the salmon running by then? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so that's another. That's one on the list. But I thought we would come so up with my th- like my my first question is why waste a perfectly good vacation? But sure, <laughs> since you're coming up. Well, he also said that uh, I, I I had a follow up question, and then I asked you guys to come up with a couple of things, and we'll say that because I mean, between the three of us, that's that's a lot of years in Anchorage, and that's a lot of different. Different uh, spheres of influence. I mean, Becker and I were basically bar and drinking centric, but John, you had a job that took you all over the state. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> have you been lying the whole time? If you say, if you say so. Mm-hmm. Well, they're also, the, the couple is, uh, they're June 22nd to July 4th, and they're also going to be. They're leaving July 4th? July, that's weird, right? Might be, oh, it might be cheap. 
That's on season for flights. Yeah, because it's the nation's birthday. <laughs> the day after King Term or uh, Killer Termites Day. Uh, I'm Palmer, flying to, I'm flying to Germany on July 4th, so everyone's flying on oh, July 4th. There you 4th. go. Maybe you'll see him there at the airport. He's also going to Palmer, Denali, and Talkeetna, but they're they're flying in and out of Anchorage and they're going to be there for a few days. So I told him we would talk about it on the air. Yep. We- so I I wrote the uh, Near the Wild Listener's Guide to Anchorage. All right. I've got some suggestions. Uh, in no in no particular order. Uh, the first one I got is uh, go to go to Girdwood, Alieska, and hike up the mountain. And there's like a seventy five percent chance you'll have a bear encounter, which is depending on how you look at it, good or bad. That's good for I mean us. I mean, as I probably should have asked him if he's uh, active or wheelchair bound. <laughs> Pick one. Even better. <laughs> Pick one. I mean, better for the bears. Yeah. <laughs> bears got to eat too. I rolled up on a bear. So uh, it's, that's it's, that's uh, a good. So it's a it's a Alieska the uh, the ski mountain, and uh, in the summer you can hike up it for free and then take the tram down. Or you can hike up it for free whenever. Yeah. But you can hike up and take the tram down, and it's and it's pretty great because you uh, when you're on the tram you can see the trail you were hiking on, and then you start seeing all the bears that are like like three feet from the trail you were just. Oh, on. Oh, that's great. How about uh, okay? I, I did want to start this off by saying. Uh, to go to touristy areas or to do things that any cab driver will tell you, like go to Koo to the Bush Company or to go to uh, uh, the Glacier. I mean, everyone does that. Everyone will suggest that. Those are the things that you would automatically do. We're trying to come up with different things like like this, like like hiking up uh, a mountain when you can perfectly take a perfectly good sky tram up and down yeah. <laughs> without any walking. That's a good one. Sure, but that there's no risk of being eaten by a bear on the No. Train. That that actually that uh, bolsters my argument, John. If there were a bear on the tram, you'd be fucked. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> no. Game there over. is no way out. <laughs> uh, and we did have a, a a burger challenge. We talked about yep. the, the burgers in town. So we we probably reiterate that. I can't remember Becker you said I was Arctic Roadrunner. Yeah. I like but not the one over on uh Spinard uh, thing there. Yeah, the one over in uh Across from over um, in Diamond, yeah, yeah. No, well, the Diamond, no, the big one. No, it's across from what do you call it? The sports bar, Peanut Farm. Peanut, Peanut Farm. Farm. There you go. Thank yeah. you, John. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Over yeah. Right by Campbell Creek. Yeah, yeah. 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 Perfectly, that's a cool one. It's perfectly, just <laughs> perfectly good, mediocre burger. No, sure. but no, good burger. Beautiful view. <laughs> Sit out on the deck. We agreed to disagree on the actual. We just gave three spots that we all liked. John, well, and, they're going uh, to they're going to be here for a couple of days, so they can all they can hit all three. They can hit Arctic Road Runner. Tommy's Burger Stop and uh, Long Branch was that number three? I don't think so. I don't know that was, but but, but it is it is a Roadrunner good burger. does have it a, is a good burger. Roadrunner does have kick ass shakes, so that was that was where I was wow. in, in total agreement that Roadrunner would be a good and stop. hot pickles. Really, you got hot pickles over at Tommy's? No, you don't. I, yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> no hot pickles. They put them. They put them on the burger for you, so you don't have to put your fingers. No, in that you go. Sk- you stick your hand in that hand washing <laughs> pickle station, and it's. They got cool memorabilia all over the walls with like people came up in the seventies and fleeing a manslaughter charge, and now they <laughs> had a bank account for ten years or something. They're just cool stuff all over the walls. It's like a. It's a wonderful museum. It's and it's cash only, so yeah. So fuck that. Paid. Yeah, sorry, credit card people. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna have to supporting the uh, the Anchorage money laundering industry when you go there. So yeah, you want to yeah, you want a chip? Yeah, but you have a chip. Well, good. <laughs> There's eat uh, it. Uh, as far as uh, eateries, restaurants. I was thinking about it today. I was talking to Tracy, and uh, one I've talked about in the past that I don't know if this is on your guys' radar, but Club Paris has yeah. a wonderful no, steak. I swear by them. Fourth Avenue is it Fourth? Yep. yep. So that is a place that is uh, old style. It survived the '64 yes. earthquake. There's pictures of it. Yep. So that's that's my suggestion as a place. And okay. I have one more. If they want to do a little bit more expensive, and you, you probably have to get reservations now, is Mark's Brothers. Yeah, we agreed on that. fine dining. And those are the two restaurants I would – if I went back, those two are uh, – I would have to go to one to make it a, an actual Anchorage visit. I mean, yeah, and the food is pretty good everywhere. Anchor, you can't really go wrong with all the like main. What? So Anchorage there's no way like, to get a bad meal in Anchorage? Are you kidding Wait, me? Wait, what not Anchorage you, are you talking not about? Not if you go to like the 
the, any place where you see people eating. But, sure you can. Have your taste buds <laughs> gone right in the toilet? It happens. You mean, so if there's a good meal at one table, that means there's good meals at every table in that restaurant that night, John? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you yeah. know what? His facts check out, Becker. No, I, uh, out. Yep, uh, We're apologize. Corrected. Sorry, uh, yeah, John. Sorry. We didn't no, mean to jump saying, on you on I'm that one. I'm just saying, Anchorage has a lot of good restaurants. There are, that's not what you, that was not the same thing. And a made, lot of though. fat people. So maybe you should follow them. I mean, that's my I mean, thing. Yeah, that's what it's, As, it's like any other city. If you see a bunch of people eating in a restaurant, there's a pretty good chance it's a good restaurant. Or that they're open. Popeyes is busy, John. <laughs> Popeyes is busy. Popeyes is not busy. I eat at Popeyes. <laughs> okay, this is our food authority. He's he's a Popeye guy. <laughs> so uh, I did want to throw this out there because uh, we have never Becker and I have not been to this bar, and I don't know if you have, John. But I do want to ask Jared since we're giving him all this this wealth of information that he uh, go by Van's Dive Bar, which is the old King's X Lounge out on. Uh, Fifth Avenue, which is right by the Lucky Wishbone. Another great burger or chicken. Go chicken. That's they have good burgers there too. Yeah, and it's right next door to the Lucky Wishbone, which is the one Tracy came up with. But their uh, pressure cooked uh, chicken, fried chicken, is the fucking best. And they, the owner just died recently, but that that business had been run by that same family since the fifties or whatever when they started. And so, I think it's still run by him because it's... Oh, it is. It's still it's the family, still, but... Uh, well, not the dead guy. Family, the right? dead guy's out. The guy died uh, years back. He, but left his... a very detailed, he left a very detailed will that uh, <laughs> keeps the business running for a while. Uh, but he, uh, his wife just died. She was the... She, uh, she died but I have, two I have, years, so three years we ago. Do a, we do an open mic at Vans now every Monday. Oh, oh cool. cool. Yeah. It's real annoying because it's a small bar and most of the people do not want us to be doing comedy there. But we are not stopping. So no. we're coming on a Monday. That's the best that's time. The- Tenacity. John, Look, this is Tenacity. The, this is a, back, back, roll back me up on this. Mm-hmm. That's when you shove it up the fucking asshole's throats who come in there who want to like play jukebox music. You create your scene and then all of a sudden the venue gets behind you because you're bringing in people that aren't these same people who come in and, right. and drink. And, and go, well, this yeah. is the only yeah. way it should be. You go, well, we're going, you know, we need more people different people Look at so john with yeah. the moxie i know we're staying in, in theory in theory that's a great idea but that depends on people actually coming to our open mic show we'll bring them so, bring them bring the deck here when jared's here rig the deck listen rig the deck. all you have to do is have enough comics there and keep doing it you fucking got it has to be the same time every week and you do it and you become more valuable to the owner having that regular steady crowd that will come in than the one or two people that are like, is a fucking shuffle board going to be shut off all night? Hey, yeah. uh, the, the dart machine, how come you turned them off? Well, because there's art going on here. Yeah. Maybe not I mean, your hey, I'm art. With you. I'm with you guys, but uh, <laughs> right right now, the uh, the regulars are far outnumbering anybody we're bringing to the bar, and they don't like us much. Well, the but- thing is, remember this, though, too, and this has always been my favorite and stuff like that. They don't like you, but if you get funnier... Then they, I love it when they'd walk up to you and go, you know, I don't like this comedy night thing, but that was pretty funny, that one you did. And you go, there you go. See, now you're cracking the ice. But the, if you, if you break in that, I mean, this is the thing we did when we ran at, at Coots. You have to fucking do it all the time on a regular basis. No matter what your schedule is, you have to stick to it because oh. that's the only way you'll get people to all of a sudden, oh, Monday night. Pavlov's dog. Go in there. Yeah. Oh, we are there. We're there every Monday. And uh, Becker, I will give everybody your advice. Uh, Becker says get funnier. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we that's on my list of uh, the for the near the wild listeners guide open mics. We do Monday, Wednesday and Sunday. Uh, Jared and his girlfriend can come perform. Can't be any worse than us. Hey, you know, that's funny because that's everyone's suggestion to your open mic crew. <laughs> Get funny for sure. No, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, it's you know how it's done fucking hysterical. I fucking love. I'm. That's the only thing. I'm those just, are, look. Those are the fun ones. Those mm-hmm. are the ones you remember when you go in and there's a fucking open mic, and you're gonna do it, and you know you're playing to the back of the room, or you know it's a fucking. Sh- you don't the the swimming gigs aren't the ones that you laugh about later. Oh, I mean, it's it's the fucking nightmare. Look, like, the ones we talk about on on the podcast with Doug are the ones where like we walked in, there was no PA. Not when we walked in, and everything was flawless. Yep. <laughs> that, that, I don't remember those gigs. 
And you do have a good stable well, of guys there, so it, it would yeah, be like that, that Burgoon kid. Oh, that Burgoon kid. I know he's tied up in some Me Too stuff, but Burgoon. Yeah, Never, not familiar yeah. with that name. Yeah, I think it's Burgoon. Burgoon. Uh, I, I mean, I, we keep trying to get him on the podcast, and it's uh, he's so hard know, to get. He's still busy. He oh, that kid. Up. Yeah, he's got a he, uh, his phone's disconnected or something. I don't know. I keep trying to reach I him know. to get on the podcast. How often does he take that cat to the vet? <laughs> 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 so that's Van's Dive Bar on 5th Right next door is uh, Lucky Wishbone I would go by there first And then over to Van's yeah, I guess I Coat that stomach <laughs> And what about activities? How about that wildlife right. center? I've got, I've got an activity uh, He's coming in June Late June, July You gotta go to an Anchorage Bucks game At uh, Mulcahy Stadium Good you call get super drunk. Oh, That's a good one Good one And if you can't, can't make it to your hotel from the game you just walk into the woods and start a homeless camp. It's right in the area. It's not a <laughs> camp if it's one person, John. His girlfriend's oh, leaving him on this there. one. His girlfriend's leaving on this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm done. <laughs> trying to, I'm so, quickly trying to look up here. Yeah, so uh, there's there will be King Salmon from late May to mid-July uh, on Ship Creek. And even if you just went down and walked down there uh, mm-hmm. during – I mean, it's light till way late at night. You, There's a lot of – there's always someone fishing in Ship Creek. If you just sent a picture, we could have hooked him up with a friend so he could get a local ID, f- our local uh, fishing license. As long as you look <laughs> enough alike, he, he doesn't have to pay some absorbent fee to go fishing. How much does it cost? 25 bucks. How about if you're non-local? A lot. Yeah. I think it's – yeah, I think it's a couple hundred. Mm-hmm. Well, I I just like it because there's that uh, there's the the fish the fish wheel that I don't think yeah. not the fish wheel the fish trough that uh, I don't think they have that work yeah they must have it working no they don't I don't think no, it, I think it's they the don't case. go past the ship creek where that no. bridge is huh. but but no. there'll always be people lined up there I mean you can go there and then if you go further down I was trying to look for it there is an actual fishery up the uh, up the creek where they let fish go. They raise them there, and then they let them go in the creek. If you get that guy right before he lets them go, you can get a bunch <laughs> of fish. I don't think they have cameras in there, <laughs> the, no. big, the big tubs. Uh-uh. There's a lot of fish. I can't remember what that one's called, though. John, do you remember that one? We've talked about it in the past. It, it, I think it's just called the Ship Creek Fishery. I thought it was the Samuel L. Jackson fish. That was ship. Samuel something, <laughs> yeah. It has a name. It's, it's, uh, it's to the guy that, uh, that uh, started it, I believe. I don't, I don't know why it's not in here. All right, I'll put it in the show notes. Yep. Don't need to keep going. But yeah, but that's yeah, that's something you should definitely. That's why where you get the history of that that fishery, and then you can actually walk. It's it's a, a self guided tour where you can actually see them as they're raising the, the the salmon from different stages, and then they eventually let them go right out there. And they also stock fish throughout the state from right. that fishery. Yeah. So that's in downtown cool. Anchorage. What are gas well, prices, salmon. John? Are they high? Uh, it's like three forty. That's not too bad if you don't plan on driving. So you should probably, yeah. Jared, you should probably pack your own gas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save, Bring save gas. money. Save money. BYOG. <laughs> and then you can always, you can always just sell whatever you don't use. So that's perfect. If, uh, uh outside of, I've, I've no. got, I've got Moose's Tooth. They got to go to Moose's Tooth, but just like get a beer and then order a pizza from Guido's while you're waiting. Cause it's Is that too long to wait for that pizza. I don't, I don't know Guido's. What's Guido's? That's, that's, you ever been to Guido's? You've oh, never been Guido's. to Guido's? Well, I believe were, the girls that. were talking about Pizza Olympia the other day, and I'm like, no, oh, fuck it. That, that place with the, 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 the gross statues out front? Yeah, no, that sucks. They're, Guido's is a different kind of gross. It's like a, it's one of those pizza places that is only open because they can seat a whole shitload of people at once. So, like, softball teams and, and like, soccer teams all go there. Oh, yeah. It's great. And like Little have, League. Uh, I went there the other night with a couple of comics, and there was a ukulele band just playing in the corner. I don't think they were like invited; they just showed up. <laughs> they showed playing. up, started playing because they nobody there, else will let us play. <laughs> they were on there call were just people, in case a big group showed up. <laughs> there were some people in the corner playing a board game, and like not like a simple board game, but like a board game of like a million pieces and little gems everywhere. Like they'd been there all day, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Wow, that's Guido's. Guido's is great. <laughs> Eat there twice a day because you're still there. That's great. Yep. No, that's, I mean, like I said, I've had Guido's pizza. It's fantastic. Guido's a good guy. Support Guido's a great Gui- guy. Support Guido's. Go to Guido's. Family owned. Stay for the ukuleles. <laughs> <laughs> or stay until the ukuleles. 
However you fare with yeah, those, that's how they close. <laughs> get the ukulele guys up. We need to get these people. Out well, you want me to start hitting these people with ukuleles? <laughs> <laughs> whatever, or play it. Play it or hit them. Whatever <laughs> your skill level. There is a uh, the people will tell you to go to Girdwood, and uh, like you did, but you you had a good activity going up to Alieska. Uh, this this is the perfect time to go to the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center, which is just past Girdwood, and so much better than the zoo. I don't bag on zoos too often, but they've got so much bulletproof glass in there. You can't even get a picture of anything you're looking yeah. at. And it's somewhat small and inhumane. <laughs> well, you can see a herd of animals at the wildlife center. Yeah, there you where go. you can see yeah. one. <laughs> right. It's whether you want to go to solitary confinement or general pop. <laughs> go to general pop. Or like a minimum security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the zoo, the zoo has like some tigers and uh, a camel that's really cool. But that's pretty much all. I, I mean, they have a porcupine. I like the zoo. The zoo's fun, but uh, I the, the conservation center is way better than the zoo. Okay. That's what I, my point was. Yeah. <laughs> and and while you're driving out there, because... I'm saying go to both. Well, you can, but if you want to just go to one, I would say... The, I take well, Matt Kirsch in the zoo. They charge him because he's foreign. But if you like... <laughs> I get it. But if you Racist. like camels, maybe Jared loves camels and he needs to go to the zoo. Could so I'm be. just saying there's other options. The uh, the other thing is is that uh, the the other places they're going uh, Denali or was it Palmer, uh, Talkeetna, Denali that's all north yeah that's out of the north end of Anchorage and no fish uh-huh. and if you go if you're going to go to the wildlife center you could go down take it's an hour and a half to Seward you could go you could do a, a, a charter out a, Sea Life Center Sea Life Center is down there Amazing. you can you can walk on the beach in Seward and one of the best kept well I don't know it's a kept secret. One of the often neglected trips is to Exit Glacier, where you can walk right up to the glacier. And, ma- and get ice and make a margarita yes. that we've I done mean, many five, a time. Five years ago, you could. I don't think you can walk up to it anymore. You Exit can. Glacier? Yes, you can, John. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it, more of a walk. Stop it's acting more of a walk like Well, now. that's the thing. is It's a, it's a, it's a trail that you gotta have to go to get it. I remember it was right after you got to the uh, parking lot. You get would, there, you would get go there past while there. you can. Yeah. It's not global warmer. It's global walking. Just walk a little farther. <laughs> well, I, I think Exit Glacier is way superior than Portage. And everyone says go to Portage just because it's easiest to get to. But you can't see the glacier, not unless you get on the boat and uh, and head out, out all the way around the bend. Yeah. And in June, you have to uh, – it's still pretty – it might still be kind of snowy, uh, Portage Glacier, and it's kind of hard to get to in June. Yeah, that's why I uh, you, did, you can see Mount Marathon. What's that? What's that, what's that one place? Oh yeah, they're leaving place. on the Fourth of July. What an idiot! <laughs> what's that fishing place? The uh, fishing restaurant, fish restaurant. Is it Ray's? Ray's in Ray's. In, uh, in Seward there. I think yeah, it's there's Ray's right on the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah not, we, we had good. Ray's is good. Ray's yeah. is good. And then they have oh, and then go down to Homer and go to the double decker bus. What? There's a double double decker bus. Eat the eat the fucking Reuben on the double decker bus what? sitting on what top. What are you talking about? It's a fucking yeah. bus right in Homer. You can eat on it. It's amazing. I, that, this must be new. Well, it's new a bus. They can move it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Greg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's until that permit comes through. It's new. Yeah. I would say if they had like more than a couple of days, go down to Homer. But Homer's it's a four hour drive down there. It's a well, long it's drive. it's a haul, and you have to have a reason. I don't think. A, I mean, it might be a good Reuben. We don't but know. They're going north the rest of their yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go south, see Seward, south. I would say. I would say go to Seward. All Seward right. is like almost Homer ish. Oh, and work out that package. See if they got a good deal on the whale watching with the hotel because you can stay at that Holiday yeah. Inn. That's a nice Holiday Inn. There's also. Uh, I don't know if this is – you guys weigh in on this. But to go through the Whittier Tunnel and to spend – like just go get a sandwich or something there and then go through – I I like the idea of going through the Whittier Tunnel because there's a history to that when people used to walk through right. with their kids. Yeah, or <laughs> they took – it. yeah, remember you had to wait on the train? And yep. If you got kicked out of only – the guy owned all the bars in town. So if you got kicked <laughs> out of one, you're kicked out of all. So you had to sit by the train tracks until you're fucking the morning because they wouldn't let you stay in the hotel either because he owned that too. Well, the John, how long is that Whittier Tunnel? Do you know? Make something uh, up if you don't. I mean, I don't know the length of it, but it takes about, what, like 15 minutes to get through it? Well, I don't think it takes 15 minutes, but it, it's, yeah. how it's, fast I think it's car? like two minutes or two miles long. Yeah. I think it's something like that. But anyway, it's yeah. it's an interesting trip. Uh, it's unique. A lot of people don't do it. And uh, the only thing is, is that traffic goes one way for a certain amount of time. Then it's blocked off going that way, and you, it goes the other it goes, way. Yeah, it's like always under construction. And then, they, and then there's a per- period of time where just a train will go through. You want to time it 
so you don't miss that turnaround to yeah. go back so you don't have to spend too much time in there. Yeah. yeah. And you definitely don't want to get stuck there like after 6 p.m. because then you're stuck there all night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, That's it's crazy. It's a cool tunnel. Yeah. It's a cool tunnel. It's just a bummer that it just leads to Whittier. <laughs> That that's the only thing there is Whittier. Yeah, if it'd be great if it went somewhere else. Tracy had a story when she was uh, when she was young. She grew up in in Anchorage. Uh, they had a deal where they went out and uh, would go. There's two huge government buildings that are now like closed and and I don't think they're knocking them down or uh, are they do anything with those? Do you know, John? Uh, you know what I'm talking specific? about? There's, it used to be there was only two huge buildings and, and it was government buildings and yeah. everything was in those buildings and those should still be standing, but dilapidated. There's one, there's at least one still standing, the Buckner building. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's still, it's still there. I think if there was two, one of them's gone, I think. Well, well, now there's still, there's two buildings, but one of them's abandoned and one of them people live in still. So, oh, so they're still using one. Yeah. Everybody in Whittier lives in one, like one giant apartment building. <laughs> there's no, there's no like houses or homes of any kind. It's all it's like little businesses and then uh these this big building. Yeah. I was I went to Whittier once with me and a friend, my friend who like who's really into guns, and we were like, let's go explore the building and he was like, We should take guns, and I was drunk enough to be like, We should totally take guns. hundred <laughs> percent. And uh it was it's really scary being in this giant abandoned building in the middle of winter, it's like pitch black. And I'm holding a gun, and I'm drunk, and I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> I slipped on – I, like, literally one time I was holding a gun and slipped on the ice and uh, was pr- probably closer than I even realized to, like, accidentally shooting myself. Or your friend. Or my friend, which – One is way worse than the other. <laughs> if I, if I would have shot my friend, I wouldn't be telling the story right now. I would just never talk about it again. Yeah. Tracy used to go down there with, with her uh... – High school friends and they would get fucked up and go in the the abandoned building. <laughs> and I think it's it's a little more secure now because it was. It oh was, yeah, for for years it was a thing you just go and explore. It, but I think somebody finally got hurt and they were. Oh, somebody made a snowboarding video. There's a great snowboarding video where some people snuck in and uh, it's a video of a guy like snowboarding down the halls and like out windows and stuff. And uh, I think after that came out, they were like, we should really put up some fences. Isn't that horrible? Snowboarders ruin it for everybody. <laughs> it's a great video though. It's a good way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a hell of a uh, hell of a ride, but o- only one guy gets to do it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I would imagine the roof fell in somewhere and's like, "Hey, we could make a half pipe out of this." Yeah, this is goddamn brilliant. <laughs> like a guy looking at an apple when he wants to make a pot pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I mean, I don't have any suggestions going north. Yeah, well, King Mountain, um, King Mountain. Oh yeah, King, King Mountain. Mountain's a fucking amazing. There's a, a cabin and out Chickaloon, there. Chickaloon, right? you got the little bar there. I'm yeah, sure it's yeah. still probably open. <laughs> uh, Telkeetna is great. You got to hit up the Fairview. It's the only. It's I think it's one of the only bars in town in, in Telkeetna, so that's always a good time. We did. Uh, yeah. We took a motorhome and drove the uh, the old Denali. Was it the old Denali Highway? Yeah. That fucking. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. They said business has been really slow. <laughs> You know, last few years, and I was like, "Wouldn't be that road, would it?" <laughs> it shook the uh, decorative trim off the uh, the kitchen cabinets because yes. <laughs> with all the ruts in the uh, in the gravel road. But we drove it one end to the other, and then came out the other end, and then drove drove back to Anchorage from there. Yep, that was the first time I shot an AK forty seven. Yeah, and, not uh, the last. I and I I don't have to shoot one again. First time I camped in a place where I thought I was. Uh, like there were big divots in the ground, and we realized those were bear paws. Remember that? <laughs> they were—I mean, they were bigger than a plate. Yeah. And they were all in mud, dried mud, but they were big, huge, clawed bear paws. And we're like, "This is where we're camping." Yep. Here. That was the place that uh, we were so fucked up at night, and Billy was with us, and he was—he was eating late night eating. <laughs> And he didn't realize he had his mosquito net on his face, and he started, oh, and he to started eat, trying to yeah push it through. Started eat through. <laughs> it was like some kind of weird weight loss thing where <laughs> nothing but net. <laughs> yeah, nothing but net. Nah. You're making the finals, but yeah, yeah. He's trying to shove chicken wings through a fucking mosquito net. I keep eating and eating, but I keep losing weight. I, I don't, I get, don't it. get it. <laughs> well, if, um, uh, have you got anything else up north? There's a if you're if you're going north you could go to Skinny Dick's halfway in that's oh, pretty that's good way up north though I mean I've never yeah, been further than that's past an alley 
That's is that past an alley? Yes, 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 that's past. Keep going. Just go to Fairbanks. Fuck it. I've never been to Fairbanks. Go to the hot springs. Being you've already oh. fucked up and drawn, driven to Canada or the Arctic. Yep, oh, you might as well go to China Hot Springs and conceive a baby because it's good luck. Yeah, and you just you'll meet a lot of weird European and Asians because there's. Yep, I'm always the only white guy there. It's weird. Don't they, they have bear attacks? Wear, wear flip flops. Aren't there like bear attacks at China? Is no. that the? Is that the? Oh, that's going. Ba- oh, that's going back on the road to lower forty eight. Yeah. There was yeah. A, there, everyone was told us, oh, you gotta go to this hot springs. You gotta go to this hot springs. And it is a really, it's a, it's a memorable spot. A lot of people go there, but like three days before we were there, a guy was killed <laughs> while relaxing by a bear. Oh, well, that we wandered. Still- the bears like the hot springs too, turns out. They get sore muscles. Uh huh. Yeah. That, that sealed it for the, me. I ain't going. At least they're full. <laughs> I mean, I'll go if I know there's been a recent bear attack. I'm not going. <laughs> We haven't had one in 35 days. Oh, you go, fuck due. you. It's like when the Powerball gets up to 70 million. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I'm not playing. <laughs> what? Um, what else is on my list? Uh, buy some uh, legal marijuana. Support our marijuana industry. Well, that's that's uh, a... I guess that would depend on where he's from, but much like when we give him a, yeah. a hiking recommendation, we don't know that he actually hikes or yeah. has legs. I mean, I'm not saying he has to smoke <laughs> it. Has legs. <laughs> I'm not saying he has to smoke it. Just buy it. Just support support Anchorage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do, do like do like you and I do, John. Go in with the intention of uh, getting some weed. Uh, take one hit and then throw all the rest away. Yep. Or take <laughs> it like I do. Ah, Jesus. Take it to the airport and shove it in somebody's bag. It's <laughs> fucking hysterical. Uh, it's actually you know it's a, don't maybe don't buy weed because if you buy it, you really can't smoke it because I think you're probably not allowed to smoke in hotels. Uh, you can't smoke it outside. Uh, you definitely can't come to my house and smoke it. So I don't, you don't really have any options. You know, it, it, that is weird. Uh, because a lot of times while on the road, uh, Doug is very careful about not smoking in the rooms, but he comes back in his room after smoking out in the designated area with a jacket bathed in all of the cigarettes he smoked for 10 years. And they'll come in and they'll say something, but Andy was smoking weed (laughs) and blowing it up the fan in the bathroom, and they don't say shit about the weed. It's a it's a weird thing because they'll get mad about cigarette smoke, but a lot of hotels they unless it's become a real problem, they don't they turn a well, blind eye. Well hopheads will shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to fucking call the cops on Mary Janers. That's what I call them. Mary Janers? Yeah, Mary Janers, yeah. We were. I mean, I guess just roll up a roll up a towel and shove it under the door and wet towel, John. Down. Wet towel. Gotta wet damp towel. that towel. Oh, I'm not yeah. About it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm that, not a Mary Jane or I don't know the tricks, Greg. <laughs> that's for cigarette smoke. Because that's the thing is because it's so it's so smell free. Well, it's so smoke free. A lot of hotels we go to free smoke, strong curry, <laughs> free smoke. It's either curry or or sweated onion smell. Right. And, Smell of immigrants hiding in the floorboards. Well, God bless them. They're here working a job that no one else wants. I like Motel that. Motel says. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, um, that smell of cigarettes cuts through anything. Mm-hmm. And if you smoke in your room, you're taking that chance. But as soon as he gets out in the hall, everyone's going to smell it. So you got to, you got to stop that smell, smoke right at the, uh, the crack of the door. Wet towel. Yep. Yeah. We, I mean, we live in a real smoke free world now. So people, <laughs> people are uh, tuned into it. Yeah, or living longer and complaining about it. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> John, wait till you come down here next time. I'll, I'll take you on the tour of the old people that, hey, did you ask me how my day was going? No, I didn't. <laughs> but they'll tell you. So, Jarrett, you and your uh, your gal, we hope you have a good time in Anchorage. And, wh- well, wherever you spend your, your, your dollars on your vacation in Alaska. That's you can always fantastic. just shoot over to Canada and... Fucking exchange rate's incredible. You're in Dawson. <laughs> you're drinking fucking whiskey and a toe hits you in the face. Well, that, that's interesting because it, because I think when people go up there, especially in the summer, that's when people fall in love with it. And they don't have any idea what the winter's like. No, like it, that. it's, remember, it's, it's drunk at a Halloween party going, she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, she's in a costume, you <laughs> retard. That goth nurse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, <laughs> she's, she has a, she, she's really good at makeup, dude. Yeah. She's really good at makeup. Yeah. You're going to find that out. Oh, so the eye patch <laughs> is real. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, it gets Wi Fi. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, uh, 
this all came from uh, dropping us a line at nearthewildpodcast at gmail.com. We answer all questions. We try all to. Questions. You try to. Oh, last thing, Jared. If Jared and your girlfriend, if you need a souvenir, the most popular souvenir from Alaska is definitely chlamydia. So pick <laughs> that up. Oh, is it still treatable? <laughs> not, not the kind we have. They said I had untreatable uh, gonorrhea, and I had it treated four times. They were so wrong. <laughs> I'd hold out for the top two uh, souvenir gifts. There's a, 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 a packet. You can bundle it together. Chlamydia and an Ulu knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it every time they, they tell you at the airport. Yeah, you can't bring your Ulu knife in your carry-on bag, okay? It's a large, round, well, it's a knife. rolly knife. <laughs> it's right in the name. You could cut the plane in half. It's, if you think about it, two Ulus in your hand, oh. you'd be a motherfucker oh. at a street game. No way's ever done that. Yeah. Wait till we get to real your ultimate Your punching fighting. would be slicing people in half. Oh, we're betting on John. John, start training now. <laughs> The Ulu Warrior, John Norris. That's not a bad idea. (laughs) Just double Ulu, John? Think about it. This fucking, you got elk skin or the elk handles on them? Yeah, yeah. So you got that extra grip? Well, you got to make it look like you're from there. They'd have to be like brass knuckles, though, so you could get your your knuckle through the front of them, right? Well, I'd I'd say even just uh, you have that cutout for your whole fingers, but you have the grips on the the inside of your hand so you don't slide it. You want a nice... A nice solid straight punch right. that goes right through. That's, yeah. That's I like that. I like that a lot. knife fight. Just the idea. <laughs> Our people got Ulu their laundry. Ha- the people got their laundry hanging out drying. You just run up with two ulus in your hand and <laughs> slice the shit out of their laundry. Now you're cutting pizza over here. <laughs> Boom! Punching this guy. Cutting off parking meters. It's fucking amazing. That, this is an, a, an Alaska remake of Edward Scissorhands. I think it is. You're doing topiary. Who's that? That's John Norris. He's the topiary guy. He's a little weird, but he's cool. He's got two Ulu hands. Oh, he skinned my seal so fast. Don't confuse this with Hula Hands, people. Hula Hands is a Samoan restaurant. Another great Anchorage eatery. Yes. Well, there's also, we found out when we were in Hawaii, Tracy and I love going to L and L plate lunch, and there's actually one in uh, Anchorage. I've never been there, but we uh, we saw it's a chain in mm-hmm. in Hawaii, and there's uh, there's some in California, I believe too. But there's there's at least one in Anchorage. I've never been. Where's to. that? I don't know, John. That's uh, I guess that's your homework assignment. L and L. L and L plate. I lunch. bet it's on L Street. <laughs> It'd be nice. I hope so. That's too. By the health department. <laughs> Well, that uh, my homework was to see the movie uh, Delt with uh, what's it, Richard Hunter. Yes, Richard Richard Turner. Turner. Richard Turner. 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 Sorry, yeah. Yeah, and it, as soon as I s- saw what was happening, like I've seen him like throughout my life on something. That's incredible. That's incredible. That's yeah. how old far back he goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that that was a great movie. A good recommendation, John. Uh, not not really too far out there because. Uh, it's been out for a while, and he's a, he's a known guy. He was just recently on uh, Penn and, Penn and Teller. Teller's uh, Fool Us. Fool Us, yeah. But uh, and he won. I think he, he I think he was kind of a exhibition kind of guy. I don't think because he, he could he could easily fool people, especially the fact that he's blind and he's he's doing these. I, I gotta ask you, Becker. He he's he only recently, well, in the last ten or fifteen years. Lost all of his sight, cannot right. see a thing. He, but when he's pra- he's always practicing. Sixteen hours a day is not not uncommon for him no. to be having cards in his hands and doing it. But when he like, there was a thing where he dropped a card and he was looking all over for it, and he's like, "Well, that deck's gone." So he knows that a card fell out, and he could, and it was sitting right next to him. He just he was just looking too far. You know, where you're right. looking like oh, right. further away than it would ever be possible right. to go, but it was like sitting right next to him, and you're right. like, it's right there. Which is funny. But how does he know what the cards are when he has a? Br- I mean, he doesn't use Svengali decks. He no. uses actual decks nope. of cards. That's again, remember when you ask teachers to watch a bunch of children. You go, how can they keep track of 52 kids? And you go, it's just like with cards. You just know where everyone is, and then you're fine. And that's how good he is. I mean, he literally can tell where the deck is. And when he shuffles, he shuffles perfectly. Oh, It's not dating. He's blind. Dating. Blind people don't date. He's a machine. And I agree with him that he shouldn't be introduced as a blind magician. He should be a 
card mechanic. Right. That's exact. And I love that they explain that because there is a difference. Yeah. Huge. You're but, never supposed to see. Ironically, you're not supposed to see his moves. But he doesn't see him either. <laughs> That's <laughs> so quick. He even can't see his moves. His fuck. His, um, his pattern's so good. His fucking. His his. I mean, just ridiculous. But this is when the disabled want these fucking. Oh, I can't work. That guy plays cards and he's amazing and he's blind and he wasn't always blind he could see shapes yeah. and that's why i said that means he can't pick out toothpaste for me yeah. like at the store yeah because they're all similar but he could pick out my prom date <laughs> so that's that he was that kind of blind where it was shapes not yeah. uh you couldn't tell colors yeah. well to be legally blind you could still have about 70 percent of your vision you 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 have like like he had a degenerative disease which slowly he knew it was gonna worse. get worse yeah. so, so he must have practiced a oh lot God, going into it imagine? going i gotta yeah. get this down before hey in a week lights out in a week food will have will no longer have any taste for you no it will be bland like eating oatmeal uh, how much fucking food would you shove in your face how am i gonna get change back from the grocery <laughs> store I but can he read Braille? Did he have time to learn how to read Braille? He he it was totally against Braille. Yeah, he yeah, he felt Braille was cheating. He he didn't like it to make it look like he was at a, a disadvantage, and that's why his whole life he was always doing yeah. things over the top. That that's what I liked about the story. It was like he just really yeah. didn't let anything. It was funny though that one scene where his sweater's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done that. I'm not blind. I'm no, he <laughs> noticed it, and then he just walked backwards for the rest of the day. <laughs> no, I'm just training myself for a new yeah, trick. <laughs> it's a new trick, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you? Un- that is an awesome movie that everyone needs to watch. But did you guys hear? Did you follow the story of David Copperfield? Uh, like what? He just got so he was getting sued because he has this big Vegas act, and like the big finales when he makes like audience members disappear and reappear yeah and one of the one of the people who were one of the volunteers for an act for that act like ended up falling down and hurting his arm and is suing for a shit ton of money and the court made david copperfield reveal how he does the trick right because they want to show a thing and he goes well if i've done this because he doesn't do that ending anymore so, but they made no, him it cost re- too much. He said, I don't want to say in open court how it's done. Yeah. And the creators have the right to do that. And the judge goes, no, you have to. So he goes, all right, we will explain it in open court. That's fine. So they explain it's a trap door and everything. But he said, I've done it like 1100 times yeah. without him. And no one's ever not listened. Hey, people take advantage of slip and fall opportunities all the time. Exactly. That guy was just sitting there with his his non working arm. Now was up in the air going, "Pick me, pick me! <laughs> I'm not fucking you Wait, yet." Did he lose his arm? No, he just fell. He and, fell. So and this permanent is, yeah. rotator cuff and and my and and sw- night sweats and and I can't concentrate <laughs> and I can't go and my mom wants me to get a job and I don't know what to do now. I blame the magician, Seems the like- Jew. It seems Did like you say Jew. <laughs> it seems like it would be a, a pretty simple payout to a guy like that if he didn't have permanent damage or he didn't lose an eye or lose the use of an arm. That you could wave enough money and go, look, dude, come on, do yeah. you want to go to court on this? Yeah, I mean, you would you would settle for a couple hundred thousand. Yeah, but still, if he wins, which I think he probably yeah. will, he's let's face it. I don't mean to be weird, but he's got a good lawyer. <laughs> But he, I just see. But you win, you high five. <laughs> hey, we uh, beat you. The Mr. Brady dropping the briefcase yeah. in the in the courtroom. Have a bring in the amount he wanted in settlement, <laughs> like the eight million or whatever, and then just put it on the table and throw a cloth over it and go, poof, gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to magic. You volunteered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now pay your lawyer. <laughs> That's fucked up. Anything else, John, in uh, magic news? Um, that's uh, that's everything I have in the world of magic today. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I didn't even look at the ADN today. No, I didn't have a chance. I was, uh, but the, 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 they're still doing budget stuff, right? I mean, it's like, I, where are the murders, John? What's going on? Are you having an Indian summer? Where have all the flowers gone? Yeah. Uh, though the police want want help looking for a Hyundai that was involved in a shooting. Uh, the car committed a shooting. <laughs> Yeah, how, it was involved. How do you pull the trigger? It, it, maybe the car didn't pull the trigger, but it was involved. Okay. Uh, I I read a thing the other day about, uh, I think we talked about how the bank, the Wells Fargo that I go to on DeBar got robbed. No, and, we didn't uh, talk about that, I don't think, because 
Oh. Was it through the drive up? For a the change. drive up's really funny when you have to send the money to the tube out to the No, guy. this one doesn't have a drive up. It just has like a drive up ATM. These guys these guys walked into the bank and robbed it the old fashioned way, the yeah. uh, the baby face Nelson way. And uh <laughs> they they caught him eventually and they in the uh I guess in the deposition or whatever they they do of these guys, one of the guys said, "Well, everybody knows that's the easiest bank to rob." And I guess this bank has been robbed before and it's just it's uh situated so that like you can rob the bank and then run down a really short trail into a neighborhood that goes like pretty far down it's really easy to get away from this bank so and they're just now figuring that out has, it's pretty exciting th- so everybody knows that's the bank to rob i would yeah, go no, i don't want to work at this branch <laughs> if it's okay with or you. close it <laughs> yeah or put it i in would a stop steeple. going there but it's the closest one to my house and i only have to go to pay rent so i'm not gonna or put in one of those uh, revolving gate things like we went to Mexico. You turnstile. Got, yeah, turnstile. Where yeah. You, ah, and the two guys are trying to hurry and they pinch each other in the little <laughs> spinny deal. I don't, Wells Fargo is like the horrible, most horrible bank. Why it would, is. There's nothing good about I need, Wells Fargo. I need to switch banks, but I'm too lazy. I mean, for a change. I did it, John. I actually switched from Wells Fargo and I'm still getting mail now to, on, do you want to be part of the class action suit against the filthy, dirty cunts? And I go, well... <laughs> Gee, maybe because what they did is they kept it. Well, that was when we had our house and our mortgage and everything with them. Yeah, and had like fucking fifteen thousand. Well, that's why they got in trouble. Fifteen thousand in the bank. They would take they, someone like you and say, "Well, you've got your mortgage with us. Let's do this." And they would they no, force you into these other. They things. They kept changing it over to a student super saver account and trying to charge me three dollars for savings. Yeah. They go, "Uh, I'm sorry, but I have like." A house mortgage with this, that, that. How am I on a super? I don't know. It's a mistake. We'll fix it. They deduct it. Sure. And then a month later, it'd pop up again. And then they'd pop up the previous one too. And I finally went in screaming and I knew somebody worked there from uh, my social life. And, uh, they were like, is there anything we do to keep you? I go, nope. And I took my backpack. I go, I want all my money in cash (laughs) in $20 bills. So they've got 15,000. Well, well, no, no, that's not the way the bank works. Yeah, no, we don't. Your money is over here. Your money is over here. Joe's mortgage. And you know, you, you want to get how much, now how much can I get? I want my $72. Uh, And then I just did it like, (laughs) I forget what that was from, but I just want my money. Just get me my money. And then I took my backpack, my, Doc Martin cool rubberized backpack. Yeah. And they took all their tea and all their pre-made coffee and all, <laughs> and I just loaded my bag and this guy's watching me. I go, you can't steal free stuff. Nope. But you can make me a super saver account. <laughs> so I didn't realize an epidemic. And this is really a couple of years before it. Yeah. They started supposedly doing it, but they were doing it to me because they got incentive. They got, Oh, you open a new account. You get this. So they were putting me in as a new account with a mortgage in there. And I go, what the fuck is no one watching this? And they were the CEO because he got a bonus too. Yeah. Fuck him. Well, I've never been fucked over. I guess that's why I haven't switched yet, but I'm going to switch. What's your account number, right John? Now- <laughs> John, what's right- your account number right now? Come on. <laughs> Let's be honest. Right now I'm going, I'm, I'm, I have to take money out of my account to go put it into another account to pay rent. So I got to go to two banks. Once a month I have to go to two banks and it's real annoying. So I'm just going to switch banks. Or just get away from the one that has been <laughs> that has been convicted of swindling their fucking <laughs> yeah. customers. Oh, just get away well, from man, that one. But that's like you know you have a great doctor, but then he gets charged with uh, molesting half the Olympic team. People, but you're like, hey, he never molested me, and he's a great doctor. That means he doesn't like you. Giving yeah. his, giving his number one superstar pop. Uh, client a lethal dose of sleepy sleepy time gas or whatever yeah Listen, i know he's got he's got 46 negative reviews but i i'm <laughs> proud to be the one hey i don't go to doctors because of yelp <laughs> i go because they're on the other side of the border all right you guys convinced me i will uh i will switch okay who are you thinking what what are you looking at you're looking at nba uh, I'm thinking Alaska, USA. That seems to be it's, the, it's uh, a good one. Oh, it's credit union too, right? Yeah, yeah, but there's nine of them in Phoenix. It still amazes me. Really? Nine banks in Phoenix. There's seven in Anchorage. <laughs> you figure it out. I can't figure it out either. I don't understand. Well, it. it's based on population. But why are they down here? Why, why are they well, in you, Phoenix? You, why should I have better service in Phoenix? You can put a are bank they anywhere. Alaska, USA. Yes, John. That's what I'm telling you. It's amazing. You come down here. I'm writing local checks like they're fucking right from here. <laughs> Um, oh, I wanted to ask you guys, cause I've been thinking a lot about this, uh, the 23 and me DNA thing that we talked about. Yes. Last week. What, what, so what, 
<laughs> what do you think is the worst thing they could do with my DNA? Because uh, the argument is like they have your DNA, they can do whatever they want with it. Okay. But what are they going to do with it? John, here's what they can do. They can run it and say technology catches up to the fact they have your DNA, okay? They take it now and find out that you have a preset condition for alcoholism or fucking runny nose syndrome or whatever. They now deny you health care without telling you why or raise your rates at some like astronomical amount. And you go, what the fuck? And they go, you're about to have kidney failure. So go <laughs> fuck yourself. Hey, but you're not a DJ. Take- you're not some fancy DJ who plays about, to electronic you're music. You're talking about an insurance company. That yeah, the they're buying the data, John. They're oh, buying- John, that all that data will be available. I, I, you know, I don't think they don't even. Becca, I, I agree with you. What you're saying is that, that there's a, no, there's doing, always ways. Already, doing there's it. always ways to use data in a nefarious uh, motive, but there's also them using the data, which isn't even connected to your name, just that you're a male that uh, was born in this year. That that data is being used somewhere else, and I don't think they're clear on that. That they're building a database that you're paying to be a part of. You just paid them to fuck you. Well, I paid, the, I paid them for the, I, but I, but you pay them for the information they provide you. But it's fake. They don't. Do. Technology isn't the point. They can tell you you had Scandinavian socks on when you were nine. They don't know that. <laughs> it's 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 tough to have this argument because Discord keeps cutting out, <laughs> so I'm like missing the points, oh, <laughs> but. Sorry. I'm saying an insur- insurance companies are going to fuck you over whether they have your No, your no, see now that's the not. millennial part. No, they're going to take care of some of us a lot better <laughs> than they are others, John. <laughs> We're going to be on the spaceship, Greg and I. Greg will be doing sound. I'll be fucking doing whatever I'm doing. Yeah, you'd be uh, doing the warm up back for the piano bar. Yeah. <laughs> and you unfortunately will be watching it take off cuz your DNA sure. didn't match something they wanted to put on Mars. <laughs> oh, they're definitely taking your DNA before you get on that shuttle. Oh, well, okay. So, they're, so why wouldn't they take your DNA before they write a million-dollar policy? But also, it's so easy to get people's DNA. If you send it to them for $45. <laughs> 98 Oh, my $98. God. <laughs> rape. Rape. <laughs> Me, too. They could swab a glass. Like, I was at, at, at the bar last night. I was telling Bart they should just be swabbing people's glasses and selling the DNA. That's that's how you. But they, they look, don't need they, to. They got you doing it. If you're a felon. I mean, look, that's how I they mean, got the, the green. Cops, the, the cops have. Go, like, go, go, Golden crazy. State. The Golden, Golden State killer. Yeah. Yeah. They got it because of relative. Send his spit in, and now they go, what well, matches enough that we know it's somebody in his family. Yeah. That's not good, John. That's not – they aren't going to do anything well, with it. Uh, it's like when people say, I well, mean, who cares if they listen to my phone calls? Well, you do care. Like just, it wasn't like they just typed in his name and got a DNA match. They took like five people, like eight months of round-the-clock work to match his DNA. Using private information through a machine to come Public up with the name – of a guy that could be your roommate. Well, as I, as I recall, we were talking about this the other night. The story was, is they had a hunch that it might have been this guy. So they went back in his, his family tree to find someone who did enter, uh, enter their DNA uh, willingly into this, uh, database. And they went back and then they backwards engineered. Oh, well, they're related and we found this there. And then so probable cause. Yeah. Well, they used, they used, uh, his DNA to match with somebody and then trace their, their, like both, they trace this person's family tree back, like to the 1800s <laughs> and then tried to go and then came back down the tree to, and found the suspected guy on the tree or at least had, he had a relative who was in the Sacramento area. They, so can, like, they can match bloodlines and going back and like that. Yeah. 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 But it wasn't like they just like Googled it. It was difficult work. Well, I, I mean, it, 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 it's like everything on the internet. You, nothing's for free. When you're getting something, you go, oh, this app's really cool. But, How come it's free? It's like, well, there's, there's something in there. And, and there's a, there's an agreement there. Whether you're aware of it in print that's unlegible. Well, but, yeah, yeah, but you, I, we're, we all are at least of this world in this day and age where we know where no one's getting anything for free. And if you can, yeah. if you want to trade off a little bit of your privacy, your name or, or not your name, but your, like, like, uh, your, your age and some of your likes through cookies, we can agree. All right. Uh, if I don't want that, then I'll be diligent and scrub the cookies from my browser and I won't have the same internet experience as someone who just doesn't give a fuck. They get all this stuff, right? 
But I'm in a weird situation because I don't know my dad. I was adopted. And so as much as I bitch about this, I think it would be cool to see what my actual my lineage lineage is going on. <laughs> but like I'm that. in the same I'm in the same boat as you, Greg. I don't know who my biological father is. But Greg, so here's what we do. You send in yours under my name and I'll send mine in oh. under your name and they won't have us. And when they come at us and go, we have a war. You killed three hookers. <laughs> and you can just slowly text. Hey, me. how come I killed them? You could slowly text. You could slowly. No, that's the point. You could slowly text me and go, leave. They're coming. <laughs> Mexico, <laughs> Mexico. You couldn't be across that border in Mexico quick enough. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. That's. I'm just saying, Google and Facebook. Uh, they're no, the Wells they, Fargo they of yeah. our DNA. Just give them the DNA. Stop. I mean, I'm suspicious of going into a sleep study. <laughs> Yeah. Can imagine. Wait till they cause be you. Yeah. Yeah. You go, yeah, yeah we, we figured out your sleep apnea. <laughs> Why'd you take off my pants? <laughs> I had pants on when I, like, <laughs> when I took a nap. You're a dentist. Why are you even doing this? <laughs> I don't even know if they have those things out here, the sleep studies out here. I know they got them in Seattle. Oh, I guarantee they do. Have you ridden what on that fucking highway to Tucson? Good moneymaker? A lot of sleep studies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John, do you have anything else? Uh no, that, I didn't even have I didn't even have what I talked about. Yeah, C- congratulations though, you've stayed on for a a record uh over fifty eight minutes. That's crazy. Uh, no, I I can only I can only hear like three quarters of what you guys are saying. That's a so. new discourse record. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm telling you, we should give Skype a chance. They've made a lot of updates. I, John, it's not going to happen. I'm trying I'm trying <laughs> to convince uh, Joby, who does a, a a Skype cast with Frank Mir. They do like once a month, him and Chad are here mm-hmm. in Funhouse and they, they hook up on Skype and I'm like, find something else. But Frank Mir runs the podcast, him right. and, and the other guy, I can't remember his, oh, Hunter, Big Dick Hunter. Big Dick Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll go plug their podcast. Uh-huh. It's Phone Booth Fighting. Mm-hmm. And good. I said, look, I can tell you what I think is better, Joby, but now you're going to try to convince someone to switch their technology and, and, or their software. And that's kind of, a, I, I don't agree with that. You know, so you got to You're on your own. I can't figure out how to make your Skype work because we'll get we'll get audio going one way, but not both ways. Right. But then they'll get the video. It's like, well, then what? How, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah. I troubleshooted ours. We're just John. You get one more chance to fix your end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking the challenge. I love it. That's, so you heard that. You did hear that. <laughs> you did hear that. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you only hear three quarters of that? Uh, I heard, I, heard, I heard the last part of it. <laughs> That's what we do. We we do really, really outrageous comments <laughs> to see if his. <laughs> yeah, see if he's working. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the pigs aren't back yet. I can't wait. I haven't seen a javelina sighting. We're gonna keep updated on that. God, I'm I'm trying to. I, I I'm starting to write down on a calendar that I posted in the kitchen of when like. Like uh, when we start putting the hummingbird feeder out mm-hmm. and then a week later we've got hummingbirds. This is about the time that they're back, but I don't know. But it's like I never write it down for the four years I've been living here straight. Right. I never did yeah, that. Which, yeah. But like I know now, f- fucking May, dude. May has uh, – or actually April has been a, an amazing – like the last three weeks of April, best weather ever. Except, except for the windstorms in the, in the last week. Yeah, but uh, we week. needed those. But I mean, you spend all day outside. You're like, I, I need to get inside and do some stuff. Yeah, but it, it is that was probably the best weather I ever remember. Uh, like in a consecutive weeks, it was fucking epic. And yeah. even today, there's no wind today. No, it's completely beautiful. Sunny. Yeah, just we were moving somebody today. It was beautiful. Uh, uh, Jen's on black knob, so we're gentrifying black knob. <laughs> Literally, Jen Trefine. <laughs> <Yeah, that's... laughs> he dropped. Hello. Oh! Oh! Wait for a second. Uh, uh, we're afraid we You would have won $50 if you would have came back with the phrase that pays. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I came I came back on Jen Trefine Black Knob. Spina Bifida. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, the that was the key word. Yeah. All right. I think we fulfilled our... Uh, that's it. Yeah. We got drinking to do. Yeah. You've listened to another episode of Near the Wild. I'm Matt Becker sitting in the Funhouse in Bisbee, Arizona. And I am John Norris in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska, tourism destination for the wealthy. <laughs> and this is Greg Shea, also in Bisbee, Arizona, sitting aside Mr. Matt Becker in the Funhouse. And uh, hey, 
have a great summer. I I I hope you get one soon, John. <laughs> I'm I'm canoe shopping already. Enjoy enjoy the outdoors. Woo! All right. Thanks, man. You've been listening to the Near the Wild podcast with Matt Becker, John Norris, and Greg Shaley. Recorded in Anchorage, Alaska on Matt Becker's Backyard Bus. Produced and engineered in Bisbee, Arizona by Shaley. your beautiful weather in your Ugh. cute town you fuckers <laughs> it's so hot i didn't bring my parasol to get from here to I downstairs i don't know what i'm gonna hand do. me that wet sponge yeah yeah my balls Actually, are on we fire put the wet towel on your head <laughs> and you just put it a little bit over your mouth so you can just at least breathe in some moisture because it's it's such a dry heat is what yeah. it is it's a dry mm-hmm. heat